And speaking of the next presentation, we are going to um, have hmm? Timia Polgar. Um, yeah, it's okay. She is a uh, she is a uh, fairly new um, employee of Chemaxon. Uh, she has a PhD in comp computational chemistry, um, and uh, worked for Gideon Richter and uh, Servier. Uh, she is an application scientist with us, and uh, actually, she's very, very, uh, very important in kind of packaging up all of the technical ideas as well as the chemistry into uh, bite-sized morsels for for uh, our our customers and clients to help understand it. And uh, today, she's going to talk about the uh, virtual library generation using the NIME tools, uh, which is which I, I really like to see. Um, so um, my intention is uh, to show the uh, NIME nodes, the, the bundle of uh, the JCAM extension nodes, not only those nodes uh, you can use for virtual library generation. And um, it will be a repetition for those who participated in the end users training yesterday, but uh, repetition is the mother of learning, so. <clears throat> so uh, I will quickly uh, talk about uh, these three two things. So I, I will introduce the um, JCAM extension nodes and uh, describe them, and I will show you two or three example uh, workflows. So um, the nodes are not developed by uh, Chemaxon. So um, here, uh, here I, I would like to um, introduce Taka, who develops the nodes. Uh, are you hiding somewhere? And um, yes, there. So he's the right person to talk to if you need any technical uh, help. Um, this is a Japanese company, and uh, you see the <laughs> description and the details uh, of the uh, of infocom um, okay so back to the jcam extension nodes we support um, all products uh, of i mean infocom uh, develops uh, nodes for um, for uh, for all um, chemaxon products um, we have at the moment about uh, 80 nodes uh, and um, as far as I know 95% of the product map is uh, is covered okay and um, and uh, this is just a, a quick view, view um, of uh, how um, the NIME looks like we use the same graphical uh, interfaces so if you uh, would like to configure the nodes, uh, the same or very similar graphical interface uh, appears <coughs> to help your work. Okay. And, um, and this is the time to, to show you the um, JCAM extension nodes. So this is the NIME um, um, user interface. And uh, the Chemaxon nodes are called JCAM, JCAM bundle. And, um, and in the bundle, uh, you see we, ha we have a converter bundle, so uh, you can convert um, any type of um, file format. And uh, the next one, the database uh, bundle supports um, also, everything you can do with the, the JCAM, JCAM base and uh, the JCAM platform IT uh, tools. Uh, the input output bundle here you can um, uh, read and write uh, files, uh, small uh, molecule files, and the PDB files as well. The next one, the manipulator bundle, is the probably the most important uh, one. Um, here we have the uh, calculator plugins. Um, uh, every calculator plugin uh, is here. So just to mention the most important, um, the PKA 
partitioning charge uh, uh, log p log d calculations are here. The Marcus uh, enumeration is also here. I will show uh, an example workflow um, for this one and uh, reactor. Uh, we have four reactor nodes uh, and you see the reactor node here and um, uh, many fingerprints, the BCAT library MCS so you can uh, cluster uh, your library using the maximum uh, maximal common substructure uh, approach, metabolizer, uh, structure searches, similarity search, uh, substructure searches, full searches, uh, uh, also every uh, kind of search uh, is here, what uh, is supported by Kamaxon and uh, R group decomposition and uh, standardizer and fragmenter. Okay, and uh, we have three nodes. Uh, you don't need licenses for them. These are the Marvin uh, nodes, uh, so you can visualize your um, output using them. And the last one is the web, web bundle, so you can also do searches uh, in um, PubChem or in the uh, PDB database. So my first example is uh, how to use the reactor. Uh, as you see, it's quite easy. Uh, you need to only um, read the reactant files and connect them to the reactor node. And um, I show you the graphical user interface of the reactor. I think it uh, reminds everyone to uh, uh, what was shown by uh, Yuri. So you need to define the reactor uh, reaction file and uh, the free uh, reactant outputs. Here you see the uh, reaction and uh, the options uh, are the same combinatorial sequential way uh, what you would like to output and uh, the advanced features are also here. This is also similar or if not the same as in the reactor. And this is the standardizer, so you can also standardize your uh, um, reactants and products here. All right, and, um, and you can output your results uh, using the mole exporter into, an, for example, an SD file. The next, um, uh, again, simple workflow is uh, how to create a, a virtual uh, library using the R group decomposition. Here we, uh, using the Marvin sketch node, uh, we wrote a scaffold. Uh, I will cancel it. And then um, we read a, a larger library and um, I clustered uh, uh, this library using the library MCS and here we have the Marvin table output and uh, I wrote one scaffold into the Marvin sketch node and now I'm using this scaffold to decompose uh, this library uh, here and then after the R group decomposition, um, I will generate a Markush uh, uh, output. So I will uh, write a Mar Markush table. And then using the Markush enumeration node uh, uh, in a sequential way, and uh, the options are again the same uh, as found in the Marvin sketch, for example. I generate a um, um, Marvin table and uh, export it into an SD file. Okay, and uh, this is the last uh, workflow just to again uh, show what kind of properties or manipulations can be done on, for example, on the uh, generated virtual library. So, uh, Oops. charges, uh, polar surface area, topology analysis, log P, log D, 
fingerprint uh, matrices can be um, calculated. And then finally, using, for example, the uh, free R uh, bundle, the statistical bundles from uh, in NIME, you can uh, teach uh, a decision tree learner and uh, then you can uh, do perform uh, whatever kind of statistical analysis you uh, you want to. So uh, I think my time is up and um, it was um, all and thank you for your attention. Thank you, Timmy. All right, so that was that's the NIME, uh, NIME interface. Do we have any questions about about NIME? And, and as you can see, I'm walking in the back here. Anybody? Yes, Shane. So how are these uh, workflows exposed? Do you, can you export kind of a standalone program or some, some kind of web page? Uh, again, sorry. How? So how do you expose these workflows to end users? Do they have to use this? Do they have to download and use this NIME, everybody? Or? Um, n no, n n not, not yet. It's not uh, yet exposed. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think Frank can help me out. My name is Frank Schaefer. I'm uh, working for NIME.com. So what you can do is uh, you can enrich the desktop version of NIME with the enterprise products that we are developing and that we have uh, released. And there is one capability, which is a central server, where you can put these workflows. And then you can uh, also create report templates that are including chemical structures and host them on a web page, which is then very easy for end users to access those without seeing any of the workflows in the back end. I will talk about this tomorrow. <laughs>